Earlier today, we were talking about technological abuse. From the corporation standpoint, they are thinking, I'm offering this internet, this Wi-Fi, so that customers will use the internal mechanisms of the internet to order things and pick them up at the store. That may be possible. However, at the same time, we absolutely know that internet and technology is something of an expectation of our consumers and customers, and we are also expecting that we have the right to use it for anything we like. Because it's true that people will read the fine print, but then there's sort of an industry standard and there's a community standard that people have the rights to be your customer today or tomorrow without being spent. The Liars of America are participating in your retail stores. I don't know what to say to a manager who's got a boyfriend or a husband or a girlfriend that's a law enforcement officer when she's got employees that do super jobs, but they're still allowing their friends to steal. It's not on me, it's on you. And your failure to train properly what is and isn't okay. Even a Dollar Tree can be a place of abuse, and the liars always play so kind, so nice, and then they provide our information, our consumer rights, our privacy rights, or what we're paying for, what we're staying for, and what we come back for to other people, and that's not okay. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the liars of America, and the liars of America will put their hands in your bags, they will put their hands in your pockets, they will put their hands on your face, they will put their hands down your pants, and they will literally take whatever they like. And we are treating this immorally. We are treating this ineffectively. And the sadness of all this is that sometimes it's a game of abuse by police. In life we have moments of time to speak the honorable point of God. And the honorable point of God is thou shall not steal. And the honorable point of God is you shall not be a slave anymore. But you're putting yourself into slavery when you are thieving from other people's rights, their privacy, their packages, their property, their paperwork, and you're putting yourself in a position of power thinking you're in charge of me. You're not in charge of me, you're not in charge of anyone else, but you are certainly in charge of you. And the mistake you made is seeing how other people are watching you, putting your paws on someone who you have no rights to.